titties. I have the privilege of deploying to uh, Iraq. I'll be in Baghdad. Uh, I'll, it's a deployment for about six months and I'll be serving the um, service to the armed forces mission while I'm there. I um, served in Afghanistan about four years ago and uh, similarly it was a, I think it was a five month deployment but again the mission was the same, delivery of emergency messages and then we also do morale activities, um, anything that we can do to um, you know to take their minds off of um, you know, really tough circumstances and, and situations that they're put into. Helping people understand um, what our mission is and the value of it um, in, uh, in, in, in today's world and, and the support that we provide um, military men and women and their, their veterans. So, um, you know, to, to have an appreciation for that um, to check out their local Red Cross. Um, there are all, all kinds of opportunities for volunteering and supporting um, the service to the Armed Forces mission and, um, and, and other um, aspects of our, our mission as well. So think about putting in some time with the Red Cross or donating to the organization to help support the work that we do. I remember the day I got my uh, dog tags <laughs> and uh, We'd gone through all of the training and, and uh, with the military, and um, when they handed out our dog tags, <laughs> it was like, oh, sorry, <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were, that, um, it was like, this is real, you know, this is, this is real, and I'm part of something much bigger than, um, than my own personal, you know, my own personal life. You know, we lived as the military did and lived in the same quarters and we wore the uniform and um, we were constantly um, made aware of the fact that while we were representing the Red Cross, we were really also representing the military. When you walked through the camp, there were constant reminders of the men and women um, that had fallen during their, their service. There wasn't a day that went by that I didn't um, appreciate uh, the sacrifices that are made by our servicemen and women and members and their uh, and their families back home. And you walk out that door and get on a plane and travel thousands of miles around the world to a base somewhere. It's a tough thing to do.